Now, if you want something look like water and not spheres with selective particles, and then instead of spheres, mm, actually that's what we what we do. We go to uh, edit or oh modify. Sorry, go to modify. We select our particles. Go to modify, and then convert n particles to polygons. Ah, let me fix the because I because I changed the the properties of uh, the transparency. Now everything that comes by default creates by default. It has this shader, so we better keep that shader. Uh, rendering hyper shade. We, get, we, get a, we better keep that uh, default Lambert non-transparent, and we'll create another Lambert, make it transparent, and when, then we'll assign it to the cube so we don't mess with default shader. No. Let's see. Something wrong. The particles. I think I need to select blobby. Ah, all right. Again, n particles to polygon. Yeah. So tweak, you see when you go, if you selected already con conversion, if you convert your particles into, if you did that, convert, uh, modify, convert, n particles to polygons, and then it disappears, try to go to output mesh on your particle shape attribute node. And then tweak the you see threshold and there's a triangle size. So the smaller the size, it will, it will be uh, longer to calculate. So it has to, it has to rebuild that mesh all the time, every frame. And then maximum resolution, let's put it 300. Now the polysurface, I'll select and I'll give it some nice shader. Let's give it some nice foam so we have some reflection here. Color blue. Little transparency. Good enough. So it's like the poorly surface, assign. No. Oh. Don't forget to change your uh, your pre your preference. Don't forget to change your sli time slider preferences into play every frame. So. So go to that icon and change it, play every frame, save. Yeah. Okay, it floats. Now I can do this. Okay, let's, uh, we can do, uh, same with n-cloth, go n-solver, initial state, set from current, rewind, it's right there in the water. Now we select the cube, and let's key the rotation, let's say start with zero, so select all the rotations, set key, go frame 100, let's rotate it. 
a bit. Let's shake that cube. And go to 200, shake it the opposite way. And then 300. All right. And let's play blast and see what happens. Okay, let's do it again, quick. <coughs> let's delete that thing. Yeah, repetition, always good. Let's delete, like, new scene. All over again. Now create our cube. Let's go, we have a, we can either scale it up or we can go here and say, Wide high depth, let's say 10. So in the attributes. And then we delete history. No history, which, which is, OK, delete by type, history. Delete the history for that cube. Now we select, huh? edit. No, why? Why? Um, it's, it, would be, it would go faster. My is no Houdini, so you, do, you should uh, delete history once in a while that you don't need. <laughs> you have to plan ahead. When you, when you build, after you build your model, delete the history, because it keeps, it, keeps, uh, it keeps too much in memory. So now create particles. And before we create particles, we think we're going to make water. So we select water here. In end particles, create end particles, water. And then after we click our container, we go and say, fill object. Everyone got it? And don't forget, let's do a hyper shade, and particles, create and particles, fill object. And in order to see it in the shaded mode, we go to hyper shade. And we make another shader, another Lambert. Lambert is the fastest one, kind of. So we select that Lambert, and we, and, we, and we make it transparent. Completely, almost completely, so we can see something. So then select our cube, and we, let's call it transparent shader. All right, and then we select our container, right click on shader, and go up, assign material to selection. Click, all right, if you hit five, that's what you get. Shaded node, shaded mode, okay. Now let's, let's play our simulation and see what happens. They go through. Why do they go through? We forgot. We forgot to make it passive collider. So the particles will collide with the object, with the container, and stay inside. So we go to end mesh. We select our cube, go to end mesh, and we click create passive, passive collider. Let's play now. All right. Too short of a range. Give it 2,000. That would be enough. All right, let's play it a bit. Let, let it settle down. See, they move a little still. All right, that's good enough. Now we select the particles. Hit outline, select the particles. Everybody got the particles selected? All right. And now, no, that's the, OK. And now we go and uh, this end solver here. And we say, set initial state. And we click set from current. 
So now if we rewind this, they, they stay on the bottom. So now let's make an end cloth object, which is going to be our buoy, our floating object. Just, you know, uh, make it, what, two, size two? 